Hi, this is Al from Learning Technology and this short video is an update of everything that's happened since the summer on Mediaspace that you might not be aware of. I'm going to whiz through it now so that it's not a long video but everything that I talk about will have an FAQ available on our help tab along with um, information on how you can use these tools and step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started on them. Uh, but in addition to that, if you come to video.northampton.ac.uk, uh, you'll see that the Home tab has now got uh, a rolling carousel of videos that might be useful to you. It's got uh, videos that you are part way through that haven't, you haven't finished watching, videos that are most popular this week, and videos that you've recently watched. So that's good. And also along the top here, under the video tutorials, I've got an extensive library of how-to videos, some recorded by me, most of them recorded by Kaltura, and we've got permission to use those videos. And those will cover, as you can see, uh, the Nile environment, the capture recorder, captions, mobile app, video editing, lots and lots of stuff there. So if you're ever lost and you can't find some guidance on the Nile help tab, then you can always come over to um, to media space and hopefully you should find the video that you're after okay um so let's look at oh, okay so i recently watched let's have a look at this one here so let's see if this will, this will work for us okay okay let's put that on mute right so this is a 360 degree video. It's only possible to view it at the moment on certainly Chrome. Uh, Safari, there is an issue with it, uh, it not displaying as a 360 video. So if you use Chrome, you can be sure that it'll work. Um, you can tell it's a 360 video because it's got that down, this logo down here, and then there's the Google Cardboard icon if you've got um, a headset. And if you move the mouse over here, you can see that you can you can scroll around the video, which is great. Uh, nice little tour of the Bavarian Alps. So there's guidance on how to do this, but basically you create your 360 video using uh, a, an extension for your iPhone or a, or a dedicated. 360 video recorder, you upload it to our system, you tag it with 360, uh, tags are down here, and then what that does is once it's uploaded, it converts it to a format where you can view it as a 360 degree uh, video, which is great. So um, what I'm probably going to be doing is maybe creating a channel with some 360 content on there to give you um, some inspiration and, and let you see what's possible with it and encourage you to have a go and produce some stuff yourself. We can't supply you with the 360 degree camera but um, if it's something that you want to explore then then we can um, we can support you in that. I mentioned their channels. If we come back up to the top here and look under channels so in summary, what we've got here is the ability for you as an individual, either a member of staff or a student, to create your own little channel of content that's private to you or to me. So this is a little playlist of you know themed videos. And if I chose to that channel, I could set it up so that it would be available by subscription. So if I'm a tutor, I make a little channel of some of my module videos, I put them up on Mediaspace, I send the subscription link to my students, they click on it, now they are um, members of my channel. So it's private apart from them, now they can see that content easily. Of course they could see it in, in the Nile module, 
but one of the good things about having it on here as a channel is that you can, if you install the Kaltura uh, mobile app, then all of those videos that you're able to see as part of a subscriber to that channel, you can download to your voice, uh, sorry, your device, and you can watch offline. So if your program has got lots and lots of videos, if those videos, if those tutors put those videos together into a channel, either as a program channel or module channels, you can subscribe to each of those channels and then you've got all of your module videos on your device to watch offline whenever you like. Uh, there's FAQs on that, but that's something that you might want to explore. Um, playlists, I'll, I'll skip over playlists, um, but essentially on those you can collate, stick together a group of videos and then you can get a link to that group of videos, send it to someone outside of um, Nile or the university and they, that person then can click on the link and see all those videos. Um, that, you know, there are if you want if you were producing uh, videos that you wanted to share with other students, if you're in a group doing an assessment, then that might be something that you would want to do. You could share a short playlist of videos that were either stuff that you'd made, or perhaps you'd curated a list of videos from uh, YouTube. And you wanted to pull that together into a playlist. There's options there. Uh, what else is there? I'd have a good list of things. So talked about channels are ah, podcasts podcast now if you've used this system before you know that you can upload video audio files and images so what's uh, what I've been experimenting with is the the possibility and, and in fact it's not particularly difficult you record audio let's say on your phone as a podcast you upload it to media space uh, here as you normally would um, and that creates for you uh, something that you can you can treat as though it were a podcast I don't know if I've got any oh, okay so so basically yeah you, you make a recording you upload it uh, you you edit the video so that you add a thumbnail to this screen on here instead of it being a still from your video obviously it's audio so there's no visuals so you upload an icon or a photograph here so it looks a little bit more presentable now if you do that you add that video that podcast to your channel which is then subscription your students can install the mobile app subscribe to your channel, access your podcasts and listen to them on the go or offline. So I think there's some really exciting possibilities there for supporting um, the learning and teaching of your students. And remember, if you make the uh, set up the channel correctly, then those individuals who subscribe to your channel, you can make them contributors to that channel so that if there's some uh, field study work students can create a video and upload it to a channel which is then available to all the other students to view offline on their mobiles so some really exciting things there which i'd encourage you to have a look at um, there are in the interactive video quiz there are a couple more quiz types i think there's multiple choice true or false open text and another type which I can't quite recall what it's called at the moment but it's I guess those last two are just open text fields where you can encourage the students to reflect or to um, make a note of their own uh, learning I'm not going to show you those because I want to move on um, uh, interactive video okay so this uh, okay, so let's call this test one. 
Uh, okay, I'm just going to whiz through this quickly. I won't show you how I did that, but there is an FAQ on what exactly I just did very quickly there. Okay, so this is a canvas where you can drag onto the canvas one, two videos or more. And then what you can do is you can make connections between those videos. So it's described by the people that um, that sort of developed this. It was a kind of choose your own adventure with video. So essentially you would watch the video here, your starting point, and then it would give you the option to click on a button which would take you to this video. And if we put another video down the bottom here, you could map a path to that. So in this first um, in this first piece of media, you would um, you'd have two buttons, one here, one here, and when you're playing back, you could click through that button to the next video. So it's kind of, of a branching branching video system. So I'm not going to go into any more detail there other than just to whet your appetite. Uh, it's very new. Um, it's, I think, an exciting tool that will give you lots of options for creating interactive video or for your students to create interactive video um, for learning teaching, orientation, um, role playing, simulations, lots and lots of things. All it means is you just got to record the videos for each of those steps and then use this canvas to um, to pull them together. Really, really good. Uh, so I would encourage you to check out the FAQ and you'll be up and starting with it in five minutes. Okay, so uh, I think I think that's mostly it. Uh, the only thing I want to just show you just briefly is it's in Blackboard. So there's a box that's made available which links through to your media. So by clicking on it, I've now got a lot of the tools at my fingertips. I don't have to go to video.northampton.ac.uk. It's, it's here. I can upload, I can create an interactive video, I can launch the capture recorder, I can do a video quiz, um, I, can, I can edit my videos lots and lots of stuff but if it's if you don't want to go into media space then you can do a lot of those uh, tasks within Nile. Uh, I think that if you click on the add box and search for Kaltura Media then that gives you the ability to add that to your uh, your home tab and there will be an FAQ related to that as well if you are unsure. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, Capture Spaces Live, um, 360 video, we've got channels, uh, there's the podcast options, we've got the interactive video, there's a new look to the playlist screen, we've got lots more uh, video tutorials for you, and we've got the um, the My Media box on Nile. So there's a lot of stuff there. It's a really good platform. Um, we've put in a lot of work to really show off the best of it. So I hope you will take advantage of some of these tools, experiment with them, seek out your learning technologist. Uh, if you need to ask questions, sign yourself up for the scheduled training that's going to be happening from uh, the new year through to the end of term. And if you feel like you're doing some interesting work with video and you want to share that good practice, then get in touch with the Learning Technology team and we will help you to put together a short written or video um, a case study to share with uh, colleagues. Okay, thanks for your time um, uh, and have a good Christmas.